All right, another week of Evolve AI in the books. This is week three, 105 days out as of today, December 23rd. Happy early holidays, everybody. Uh, here I have a set, or I should say six sets of 10 with safety squat bar squats, which suck, by the way. I'm using the new rep safety squat bar, which I picked up because, as I mentioned before, the kabuki bar is just really awkward to do safety bar squats on, in my opinion. This felt much better, so you can expect a video on this bar coming up in the future. It does have its shortcomings, though, which I'll probably mention a little bit later in this particular video. But I think my plans for these weekly updates has changed a little. Initially, I was going to be each week is going to focus something on the app that I'm going to update you on. But that just gets to be a lot of stuff over the course of like 18 or 19 weeks. Instead, what I'm going to do is just give you an update like on the app every four or five weeks. So at the end of every block, I think that's going to make for better content. And because I've been doing that and keeping these videos more kind of short and to the point, just showing you like my top sets for each day and only the main movements, I have been trying to get more content out. So you might have noticed an influx of videos the last week or so. I'm hoping to keep that up uh, for the next two weeks at least because I took a little bit of personal time from my normal job because they told me if I don't use it, I lose it. And so I wanted to take some time off. So I've been doing that, getting some more YouTube videos up, even if it's short form content like some of the Pepin Dumbbells. I've been playing some more Xbox, working through Halo 5 and Halo Infinite because I never got to play those. So it's been nice. And now that I've talked about nice, let's talk about something naughty. As I alluded to, this rep safety squat bar, great for safety bar squats, not as great for these good mornings. The hinge movement for me does not feel as good as it does with the transformer bar. I feel the weights more in my back and I can feel the movement in my hamstrings with the transformer with that hinge setting. In this safety squat bar movement, I feel like it's just going to guillotine me in the neck. So I had to go a lot lighter and it was a lot harder, but it's okay. Because I'm hoping that's going to help translate to some better deadlifts. And my deadlifts on this particular day felt great. Ended up doing four sets, total of six reps each, all at relatively low RPEs. And things felt and moved really good. Really happy with myself here because deadlifts have been something that have been all over the place for me for a couple of years and I'm hoping I'm back on the right train. Now, one of the things that I do wanna take a video to talk about as far as Evolve AI goes are the benchmark sets. And what I mean by that is here, you can see I have a top set of five at RPE eight. And based off of that, it's gonna give me my back off sets. You can actually go into the app and change what your benchmarks are. So for instance, I could do a set of three at eight or a set of three at nine, a single at eight, a single at nine. You have the option to do that. Which I think is nice because I've really been good with bench for rep work, but when it comes to actual testing my one rep max at the end of these programs, I've run into issues where I feel like I haven't handled heavy enough weight. My body's just not used to it. So once I get into strength blocks, I'll probably be doing some lower uh, rep work, in terms of singles or triples at higher RPE, so RPE nines, and then obviously subsequent back off work, which will be more reps at a lower RPE, but at least I get the chance to handle some heavier weight. I also like in this program that I can mix things up. So this day called for more barbell bench press, but again, I've been trying to get some clips so I can do an impressions video on these Pepin Fast Series dumbbells, so I switched it out to dumbbell bench. However, one of the things you'll notice is I did not finish all the work for this movement or a lot of the other movements. Had to call the day short because my elderly neighbor, we've been experiencing some storms in the Northeast. Her two little dogs got out. I got out of the basement in the wind and the rain to go track these dogs down in our neighborhood. And then they tried to eat my face off and the woman almost had like a heart attack. It was a shit show of an event, but we made it happen. But unfortunately, that meant that my training had to be adjusted a little bit, which is fine. In the hypertrophy block this far out, I've done a lot of good work this week, as you hopefully have seen this video. So it is what it is, and she's safe and sound with the dogs. Hopefully, everyone has a great rest of their week and a great holiday. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, and stay big.